Welcome back guys, Escapement and Watch, Falling Titan here. Today we are going to regulate the Swiss made Nevada Crenshaw Antarctic Spider Sector Dial. We reviewed this recently, it performed badly, so let's fix it. This watch has a SoProd P024, which is an ETA 2824. So what I'm showing you today is basically going to be useful for all the entry level Swiss watches. Salida SW200, ETA 2836, ETA 2892, they're all regulated the exact same way. So if you're not very active and you have an office job, you want to regulate towards the dial up position more. So lean more towards that time grapher result. If you're more active, lean more towards 12 down. These are the main two positions of your watch. Okay. And I'm saying that from experience, I've tested this many times. Those two positions, if you just regulate to them, you're going to be happy. You're going to need the Bergeon case back removal tool. Of course, this is the clone. The real one is about 2000 US. So this one is about 150 links down below and it works pretty good. Size 20 and size 22. We have 20 mil lugs. So we put it on 20. Place the grips down into the slots of the case back. Put this to the top to keep downwards pressure. So we screw this up to the very top. So the downwards pressure remains and we just turn simple as that. You're also going to want your Seiko silicone grease to regrease that gasket when you close the case back, maybe do a mental check to remember how it was tightened down from factory. So maybe put a little piece of tape there. This notch was near the crown right here. You're also going to need your Bergeon flathead links to these as well. I think the one millimeter works good. Just remember to keep good downwards pressure. Okay, guys, let's begin. I'm going to mute the speaker so you don't have to hear the ticking. I know some people like it. <laughs> I already put the watch in three positions, 20 minutes each to get a solid baseline of how the movement is performing. Dial up, we got plus 14 seconds a day and dial down, so upside down, plus 16. Okay, the watch is upside down right now. Why is that important? Because we wanna regulate it on the time grapher and sometimes watches perform dramatically different when they're upside down. They're never really upside down, but to regulate it, we wanna know if there is a variation. So if you want to regulate dial up to zero and you're at plus 10 and you know it runs two seconds fast upside down. So when you're regulating it on the time grapher, regulate it down to plus two seconds a day. So you'll be at zero dial up. Okay. Okay. First, let's look at the screw. There is a plus and the minus and the middle of the screw is what you want to align to the hash marks. Okay. Let's see how much variation we get when we move one notch slower. So right now we're exactly in the middle, dead center. Okay, we moved one notch to the left. Now let's see what happens on the time grapher. Going from plus 16, what does one notch do to a Swiss movement? Okay, now we are at zero. So one notch seems to be around 16 seconds a day. But because we are upside down, dial up, it's gonna be about plus two. Okay, give it time to settle. Plus four, <laughs> this is looking good already. We might be done. We might be done already. Plus four, plus four, plus four. Amplitude has picked back up. Okay, so we have settled down to plus five, plus six. It's bouncing around there. That means one hash mark on the movement is roughly 10 seconds a day. So if your movement is running 10 seconds slow, move to the right one notch, okay? But since we are at plus six, pretty stable, plus five, plus six, I think we are safe to leave it at that. Let's check 12 down. Okay, so some time has passed and we have settled at zero and plus one, 12 down. And that was basically the most simple and easiest watch to regulate. Now let's check out dial up. It's gonna be around plus four to plus six in that range. And if we did it perfectly, it'll be 
plus five after letting it sit for 20 minutes on the time grapher. Amplitude very strong at 300, little bit air at 0.1, and basically the watch is regulated. So if I am very active that day, it's gonna be around plus one to two seconds a day. If I'm more sedentary, sitting at my desk all day, maybe editing, buying watches on eBay, Chrono, then it's gonna perform more closely towards the dial up number, which is plus five. So with plus five and zero, I'm pretty happy with that. On the wrist, I'm probably gonna be getting plus two to three seconds a day. Now guys, if you made it this far, please remember to subscribe, check out the other videos on the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.